Of course, Brewmaster as well as Razor. I, I keep piping up the Razor in game one. It looks like, like we're not we're gonna... gonna. No, we're not gonna yeah. see it. Just, just ban straight up. And finally, we're not gonna see a Brewmaster this game. Not uh, yet. It's not as if Rock's Kiss couldn't pick it if they wanted to. But I think they just maybe are comfortable because they are Radiant that you can play heroes that are maybe a bit more greedy. The way that I see Radiant side is a better side for being able to farm. Votus That's Pro usually the way that pick. I see it. Now, yeah. getting Roshan advantage is really nice and can some sense help you delay the game because having an Aegis can mean that you could win a team fight otherwise that you wouldn't be able to take. So I think it's good to be dire for just specifically Roshan advantage, but in terms of like mid lane, off lane, both are significantly better for Radiant. So you can get a lot more out of the early game, I think, if you're Roxkiss here. Kuro actually said the other day for, for them, on a lot of online matches, they prefer remaining. Radiant because you could just win the lane quick, snowball, and just go ham. They're like you, man. They're one remaining. and done. They just yeah. want to get on the rest one of the One and day. done. Let's, get, let's win our game quick Reserve time. And, and do whatever you need to do. It's but, really uh, good, though. Yeah. And these types of heroes can definitely snowball. Like Getting a really fat invoker or a fat doom during the early game, we saw the drums and mech. And even in that game where Rock's Kiss were miles behind from the get-go, that doom was still tanky as hell, man. Yeah. Just imagine if they don't have that kind of a, a deficit so early on into the match. So I'm feeling Rock's Kiss with this type of draft. This is basically the kind of style that they love to play. It's defensive, but it can also push. It can fight if it needs to. But for the most part, it's going to be trying to exploit getting as much as they can out of their lanes. I also think if it fits properly, Roxas should pick up a Sand King because going back to the Radiant Jungle, very easy to double, triple stack if you have the right here to do so. And then it's doo 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 in the jungle. You get a quick blink dagger, it sets up the ice blast, it sets up the sun strike. It makes early to mid game roaming much easier because, again, if the two supports are dis disappearing in the jungle, who knows if they're smoking the gang mid or just stacking the jungle? Yeah, it's the pressure. Yeah. Uh, uh, having a Sand King blink dagger at seven, eight minutes, something like that, that's so much added influence on the map that you're just like, I, I can't actually farm this wave. Or if you're playing against any other hero, you might be able to go to it. But now it's like, nope, can't farm that, can't farm this. Radiant Suddenly life gets a heck of a lot harder. Virtus Pro actually going for a Shadow Shaman. So it's clear that both of these teams want to try to go for a defensive style. But getting a Shadow Shaman also means that Virtus Pro, they're going to need experience and quite a bit of gold right now. Because Shadow Shaman, more than anything else, he needs six. Yep. And then you have a Nature's Prophet who's going to need a ton of farm. And then you have a Treant who also needs levels. So I'm feeling low as Virtus Pro could be exploited with their picks right now. You imagine Invoker, remaining. Doom, maybe they want to go solo on each of them and then just run Five an aggressive tri lane remaining. starting with the Ancient Apparition. That is a possibility with their lineup right now. I mean, there there is some chance and a very time. slight one. Like Virtus Pro could pull a quick one on you and just go mid Shadow Shaman. Pro's turn to pick. Yeah, but against even a Doom, I don't even think it does that well. Like in Invoker? I mean, you, you get the quick six, and it just depends on what you could do with that quick six. Yeah, I suppose. No, I, yeah, I, I kind of see that. Like being able to get the experience to just get massive awards up straight push, away. Push, 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 push. But yeah. I, 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 I don't think that's going to happen. And we're going to see Rock's Kiss going to pick a Wing Ranger. And we had a lot of discussion because upstairs in the uh, lounge area we have people asking us questions and one of the questions that kept Five coming up is like remaining. what do we need to do to buff Wind Ranger to get her as popular as Marana which is kind of seen as her counterpart and one of the my idea I keep bringing it up is they just need to play her more as a carry and I think yeah. Rock's Kiss is the team that's doing exactly that they still get the four staff but after that it's just damage 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 I think they either get MKB they get a hex or get, they get a Mjolnir and they actually leveled the Focus Fire, so I'm very, very excited to see how Roxas is going to play this game. I think it's going to be a core role. I think it's going to be a damage role. Uh, and I, I think that Virtus Pro might have issues dealing with it. Because if you look at Shadow Shaman, Nature's Prophet, know. and now OD, not exactly the tankiest of heroes, but bad. OD's going to have a great lane against whoever he is going to go up against. This Maybe is, not uh, the Doom, but aside from that, he's going to be happy. Obviously, he'll be an Invoker. The, the thing that kind of concerns me is... Ten seconds this is remaining. probably going to get banned, I'm guessing, by Virtus Pro in the next ban phase. Or hell, Five even Rock's Kiss could ban it, but I don't see why they would, given the fact that I think they actually pick out of this ban phase. Reserve time. No, they don't. Never mind. So yeah. No, they do. 
They do. No, pick Rock's out of Kiss it. has the first pick out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they do pick out of this. So I don't think Rock's Kiss will ban Nyx. They'll probably try to get it. But whatever they're banning right now, it's gonna have to be another support. And nope, they're just gonna ban Bristle back Virtus instead. Pro, they're assuming Shadow Shaman Treant support, and then off lane Nature's Prophet OD mid. So they're just banning out any kind of mid game hero who could potentially just absorb damage and make it so Mass Serpent Wards and Treants can just kill your tower, which I do like yep. to a certain extent. See so if they go for the next ban here. Illidan really likes Illidan really likes his uh, gyrocopter. I'm looking for Virtus Pro's aside here. If they run the very standard uh, OD mid, Nature's Prophet, like you said, an off lane, and then you could just back for days on your gyro, go for a very late game victory. Adds that making game fight from the call down. It is pretty solid. It's also one of those heroes where I think rushing a BKB is quite good. Because his damage Ten output is so high remaining. just from things like call down and rocket barrage that you don't necessarily need to Five build into like remaining. straight damage afterwards. You can even be a bit greedy and go drums and BKB. Actually, I think Windrunner beats her in lane pretty badly though. Gyro. Yeah. Yeah, Windrunner beats a or Windrunner beats a lot of hero heroes in lane just so. because her animation is good, her damage is good, but so with that factored in, what what care will you actually see? Or would you want to reserve Ten seconds your opinion until we see the last support? It's going to be Rave King support. Not exactly the Virtus most surprising. Pro's I think it's an aggressive pick. lane from Roxkiss. You could just as easily go defensive with these heroes, but... You go A, Wind Ranger, and Rave King, try. It's a really strong lane. Yeah. The thing is, with Chilling Touch, you can kill pretty much any hero. Doesn't matter what it is. And there's, I don't think there's any way... Like, if Virtus Pro pick a melee farmer, they have to be extremely confident oh, it's not that Roxkiss... The melee farmer. I mean, I don't know, remaining. man. What did Virtus Pro actually do here? I like the gyro idea quite a bit. I think Five it's one of the best choices remaining. that they actually have left. It, I mean, melee f gyro might as well be a melee farmer. Centaur. They could centaur farm. SS mid, aren't they? Who are they putting? Okay, yeah. never mind. I mean, I, I guess you could go dodge and go offensive traveling with your centaur traveling, but... But that seems so meh. Look, all three of these heroes need so much experience. Shadow Shaman, Treen, and Centaur. So going offensive traveling is already a very big inherent risk in itself. I, I, I just don't know. Or sorry, what Virtus Pro is doing. We'll see, I guess. We'll find out. So... I thought for a minute that they were just going to do a Prepare Shadow Shaman mid like you had mentioned because then they, what they could do is they could just have um, Nature's Prophet either offlane or jungle and just have the Centaur offlane. And just be mad greedy about and it. And be super greedy, yeah, but... I mean, this actually works as well. It's just a bit surprising to see that they're going to be playing Illidan offlane. And no, they're still, it looks like, going to... Uh, attack him. Or are they... Are no, they I think they're doing exactly what you're... No, actually... Smile's got boots, so he's not jungling. Checking out the level one Roshan. This is so bizarre, actually. Yeah. Also, NS has got boots first, so this is somewhat strange to me in terms of what he's looking to do with that boots. Is he looking to get first blood? I mean, I think with the disruption and the mid lane, Leech Seed and the Shackle, you do get the first blood with that. Nice. I don't know, man. The thing about Shadow Shaman is that he's actually 285 base move speed. Yeah, so, so even with boots, he's just slow as hell. If you want to shackle somebody, you need boots. He's actually so slow that if a hero is walking away from you, basically any hero, and you try to shackle, it won't work. If he's already like, even yeah. if he's barely in range, you'll just stutter because your hero is so slow that the animation can't go off. The battle begins. It's very annoying, actually. You see Goldblack here. I think they're just gonna go for the first one. Yeah, and this is hiding in this particular spot. Really risky. It's offensive trialing, yeah. A small kind of defensive dueling up top, using the trees to block for him a little bit. I have to say, it is very unexpected. A he's got invis, so that's there goes your first one. Suddenly, I mean he, he could just wait, because they might expect us to. No, they could still kill. The thing is, I don't know if they can go for solo. No, they can't. Well, if so, look at this power one. Oh, okay, he just shows himself. himself. Dual off lane, dual safe lane. It's just 2 Rock's 1 2 all over the map. This is like Dota from fucking the yesteryears. years. G's gonna have the, the advantage. The oh, middle lane. He's getting blocked. There's some boots though. Goblin can't get the cold feet to actually secure him in place. 
This lane's actually gonna work out fine here for for this, bro. As awkward as uh, it could have been. And, and honestly, if you look at it, Dream Protector, he's gonna get the levels. Shadow Shaman's gonna get the levels. In fact, Illidan's actually gonna get a ton of farm in this lane. OD's winning mid. Safe lane advantage for Smile. He should be able to do just fine here as well. You know what? Rock's Kiss is... In the laning stage, question mark? You mean DP. Oh, uh, sorry, Virtus Pro, yes. Yeah. It's a bit strange. EOD is completely destroying mid, which is to be expected, I suppose. Yeah. But this is really weird. The thing is, this wouldn't have worked if the Wraith King was bottom. Because basically, you would have had a lane that cannot actually touch the creeps. Solo would have been more or less free farming. Sure, he's not farming great, but he'll still be able to recover with Devour. That's kind of one of the strengths that Doom has, is even if his laning phase doesn't go spectacularly, he can still look to try to make things happen. And speaking of bottom lane, they're going to do quite a bit of damage here to Solo, but he's going to pop the Scorched Earth, teleport coming in as well. They want to go on that S, then damage! Illidan turns around and gives him a double edge to the face, and that's going to be your first blood. Yeah, living armor keeping NS alive. The TP came in from the Wraith King as well, but hey, the first blood went the other way, and who actually got it? It's Nature's Ruffin. Holy yeah. crap, that's huge for Smile. That's really, really good hero to get first blood on. The hero who needs basically the most farm on the team, getting the best possible start. So that's one thing that I think that Rock's Kiss maybe just kind of forgot about, is when you're playing against Prophet, man. Well, they played it against their games yeah, in a row. I know, but it's so weird that they yeah. would actually do that to, to engage so aggressively. Maybe they just saw an opportunity for a kill, and it, it happens to everyone, right? You get the bloodlust. You're like, okay, I really, really want to get this kill. I twixt myself. Actually switched up the lanes. Illidan has teleported to top. I think the fact that they switched lanes back, I'm not sure where to, this favors for this pro anymore. Now, obviously, they do have the first blood, so <laughs> with the face boot online on Smile, he, sh he should, you know, harass him just okay, but he's still going to be afraid of that gank coming out of jungle from the Wraith King as well as the AA. And so Doi's going to do just fine here against Illidan up top. It's a little bit concerning, but Illidan already has Tranquils. So even if he does get harassed, he'll be able to regen off that HP. And they can kill Sadoi. That's the thing. Oh, in fact, oh. they will kill Sadoi right now. It's going to be a Shackle. We're going to see a lead seed, a stun coming in. No stun just yet. Oh, yeah. no. Illidan, please. He didn't have mana. Oh, he had no mana for it. Right, yeah. He's got another double edge, though. Bury me beneath a tree. Crap. Holy crap. I see. Fine. I'm telling you, man. Man, late. Stun into a cold feet. He's going to be dead. No Astro for himself because he used that on the Invoker. Armor. The Living Armor comes in. Holy. You know, this is where Living Armor becomes obnoxious because he gets to level three and all these kills that they should be getting, they're not getting it. Goblox just like, man, I really wish we didn't bring Treant back. <laughs> really, really wish. We Again, didn't I don't know why here. I'm cheering for Virtus Pro. I think he just likes saying the underdog. Right? Yeah, yeah, I really do. Like, on whatever bandwagon, nobody else is on. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the underdog has their own bandwagon, right? That's Maybe, what but it's a much at. smaller one. Yeah. Like, if you see a hundred people in one bandwagon, and like, five in another, the one five, and you get a comfy seat. Sure. Maybe. But right. still, very, very nice start from VP. Now, keep in mind that the Doom is still actually higher CS than the Centaur. So Solo wasn't really shut down too much during the laning phase. He's already up to 1,000 gold, even with the death. I think he's going to be more than fine. My concern basically stems from the fact that he, they have a greedy team, but they don't have anything really to propel them ahead unless they continually find ganks. Most of what they're doing is actually just going for lane wins. So when you don't actually get the lane wins, then the team suddenly feels a little bit anemic in what it can offer. Whereas Rock's Kiss, they can fight, they can just as easily farm, and they can push. BP can push too, but not until the Shadow Shaman actually hits six. I was, I would argue that they are de definitely getting the lane wins though, right? I don't know, man. Getting first blood on Nature's Prophet, getting, you know, very crucial levels on the tree. And now it looks like they're gonna make another go here on Solo. Look at the burst damage. There's no Scourge Earth here. And they're gonna get another kill on Solo, I think. He's trying to phase himself out of the tree. He's actually walking uh, a little bit, but there you go. Another kill. And the Shadow Shaman's gonna hit level four after this waves are killed. I think they're winning their lanes, actually. Kill, it definitely makes a, yeah, a much stronger point. OD, OD is still continually... I mean, despite the death, he's still dominating BCT. Yeah. All kind of thing is to be expected, though, out of a OD. And maybe just a little bit of a, an oversight by Rock's Kiss, because attack. they've actually banned OD, I want to say, the last two games. At least one of the teams has banned it out. Yeah, I, I remember seeing OD being banned out.
So I'm a little bit surprised. Whenever you pick an invoker and you do plan on putting in mid, and even after seeing the OD pick, which wasn't last pick by the way, they still decided to put in mid. Now, maybe Rock's Kiss is in a stage where we're like, oh crap, we, do, we just don't have a good solo against any, like any of our solo is good against OD. I think so Wind Ranger would have done okay. Are you going to say playing BZZ, get some aggressive tri lane action? Wouldn't have been a great lane, but it would have been able to do its job basically, which is secure farm for the Doom. We're going to see a gang coming on the mid lane again here. It's going to be an Astro into a Shackle into a TP, and Smile is bringing a party. One more at the shot. Well, the kill out now goes to OD. Only one now. I think the fact that this roaming Shadow Shaman has been able to get so much. Just an ode to how volatile DT is as a team. They're gonna find Jonathan in the woods, by the way. Hellfire Blast to follow up that. He's got a living armor. Shackle. Now he's dead, man. That's a double damage. Wraith King. Or was. Just wore off. That really shouldn't have happened. They had an observer worth seeing that DD being picked up. In any case, though, so, uh, Virtus Pro fairly happy with what they have so far. Midas is gonna be coming up online soonish. So is Blink Dagger on Illidan, who is sitting at 1400 gold. Now, what is the inherent danger, though, when you have a safe lane farming Rave King, or sorry, not Rave King, Centaur, getting a blink, and maybe dying the first couple of times? Suddenly, your, your, your entire team is not really going to like him. I guess the point is not as strong, because you still have G farming in the mid lane. Critically, he's not going for Hannah Midas first, which is generally the norm these days. They want to fight. I like that, though, because I think taking it late against that. This is very, very scary. Like Doom, he, he just farms so fast innately that you basically have to buy a Midas just to keep up with Doom. And right. then if he sees you buy a Midas, he just buys a Midas. And then you're like, well, now he just has two Midases and I only have one. Unless you're Lone Druid, in which case you spent 4,100 gold on Midases and then you're still behind. I mean, you have two Midases in between Nature's Froth and an LD. I would look at it that way. Mm. I don't know. I think it's just fighting a Doom trying to farm doesn't really seem that good to me in general okay fair enough verse pro they they have the same idea or at least maybe g is a little bit worried about his survivability so he's gonna get a four staff to make sure that he is uh somewhat safe uh, still three four hundred go away from that midas but he's not really being harassed the momentum and of course the initiation has all came from Virtus pro side passive laning still favors and Virtus pro so they're okay with that because of the fact that they've gotten so many ganks, I would agree. Just because now that they have an advantage, not doing anything means that they still maintain at least a majority of their advantage. Yep. Now, you could say, in a certain extent, Radiance that Rock's top kiss, tower they is might be attack. able to do something a little bit later on into the game, once Solo starts getting a little bit more farm. And to his advantage, he's 51 CS right now. Like, he's got a ton of farm. The only problem is he's died twice. Yep. So, they want to add another death to that town, man. They smoked up. Solo's like, get me the hell out of here. Blink four, they're going to find him. Oh, that's that third kill that you were talking My about. Soul. The kill goes to... Looks like it was split. Well, that means that Midas is finished. Illidan is doing much of work. And NS, he's getting attack. that level 6, right? Just give him that lane for him for a bit. He really wants it. He, he has earned it for the team. Oh, man, he's like... He's like, nah, man, nah. I need these creeps. And he also has his Midas done. Yeah. So, 9 minute... 30 second Midas phase. Now, to be fair, he started off in the safe lane, so it's not as if he's had a normal Nature's Profit game. Plus, he's been involved in every single one of his team's kills, which gives you a heck of a lot of money nowadays. Jotham's gonna get his level 6 on the safe lane top. So the, 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 the problem with Virtus Pro in the past is a sense of direction, like you brought up in one of our games. Do you hear a Virtus Pro at this point? You get level six and you just push down to level Healing one tower magic. today so with your yeah. massive rewards? Yeah. I definitely think so. Because due to the fact that they're dire, they can just go for tier ones. Even if you don't even kill the offlane, say they kill tier one mid, tier one bottom, that's easy Roche. Super, super easy Roche. Oh, mid lane or top lane's gonna go on Sadoi and they blink. Where's the overgrowth? Not six. They actually use Nature's Guide to get him in there. And it's gonna be a Sunstrike. They're gonna go the other way on Illidan. Oh my god, Illidan is dropping low. The Shackle is gonna be the living armor though. Keeping him alive for a while. Meanwhile, Sadoi is getting punched. Illidan somehow lived through that. Another oh power shot's gonna come through. <laughs> oh. I like the style, but execution wise, the Wrath is gonna come through. Sadoi is very low. Meanwhile, there was a fight the happening on the bot lane. Doom is gonna be dead. Tower is under attack. 
Oh, killed Godlike and Solo. That was pretty, pretty legit. So as badly as the fight went top for VP, they managed to make it up somewhere else, killing Solo for the fourth time. So that's going to be really nice for them. That blink from Sadoi. Normally Sadoi is a very good centaur player. That. Illidan. Yeah, 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 Illidan. It now all makes sense. I was like, wait a minute, what? So I wouldn't do that. So okay. then I realized that it was, yeah, it was the wrong team. So yeah, that makes more sense. Well, they, they got a rebuttal kill, so that's yeah, fine. Oh man, this game is too much for me. I'm torn. I don't know who I want to win anymore. Hey, made a better team win, right? I might be the sixth man on your bandwagon. <laughs> just vote for VP. I just hope that NS will find level six before 15 minute mark. Cause jeez, the man has been carrying the team. He's only gotten like a hundred experience since we last talked about him. I know, right? Which has been like two minutes since we've actually mentioned him. So I think he died uh, in that engagement before anybody else died. Yeah, so he couldn't get any experience. That was his first death too. Just kind of heartbreaking for him. The one time you really don't want to die, you know? When you're like, oh yeah, I'm about to get a couple more kills because that's his only source of experience right now, his kills. He can't go to a lane and soak the XP because everybody else is just telling him to get the hell out. Oh, Arzart denies the double damage earned from Sadoi. bottom tower. And actually, Arzart, I mean, he's a man of going different he's builds. Going yeah, Shadowblade game one. Okay, this, is a, this is a definite go for tier one skin. Yeah, I mean, if they get S6 on NS and it's not, he's not getting it because he just got doomed. No, he's fine. <laughs> All right, he's going to walk it off and go. Oh, the four. Force that forward, the Centric Reno, and that's please don't take it. All right, and Solo, he doesn't have his new, so he's gonna just try to whack NS. And finally, hallelujah for NS. Six. And now you just go, right? Or maybe you protect Dyer's mid first. That was a really big reaction. Yeah, Roxkiss realized it. They're gonna try to do some damage to mid. They have two people already rotating over, though. It doesn't and matter, though. Like, they have living armor. If NS stays, they can easily kill the tier one bottom. They will. They're gonna defend mid as well. See that early game item, like the four staff from the OD, the mech from the MP. Eventually, they're they're gonna come come in big. Radiance early game tower kills, and what is, is that? Under five attack. kills on Doom. That yeah, five kills on Doom. I thought they gonna come in. Unfortunately for them, they don't have a tree, man. So this is fatal damage every tire. Radiance structures are See fortified. See if we can nine. Deny your own words. <laughs> deny your own words. I guess so. Make a new one. Mid lane's gonna happening. Uh, I sorry, I missed that one. Are they gonna push here instead? Radiance middle tower Sorry. is under attack. They have the mech. Just get here with Illidan. Get the mech soonish. Get mech just for the aura. Can't regen, man. Alright. Armor increased by two. Freaking regenerating 4 HP a second. Literally healing. Taking no damage. Taking no damage. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm all up in the air and waving my arm about this early game items, but Rares Pro need to do a little bit more than just forcing out Glyph for their early game items, right? Yeah. Yeah, so either taking that Roshan or getting a couple more backstab kills and taking these T1s, but here comes a gank in the jungle. They'll see Solo. Flick. Oh, what the heck? I'm just saying, if that was the toy, that was a dead doom. It's not the toy. That's all I'm saying, man. All right. And it's gonna be a counter push mid. No uh, massive rewards. They do have a TP though. Overgrowth that. Go in. Oh, TPs are coming in. They're looking for the overgrowth. It's gonna happen. It's happening now. Yo, he's actually right there, but hey, man, he's got his ultimate. He's gonna have to use it right now. Jada from the back line. He's actually gonna oh, look at the ult from G. It's dropping well. So don't please right click in Mars Cloud. No, he's actually not. Yo is actually gonna survive. How is nobody dying at this? I mean, it's a one for one. Most force died. G actually goes down. Blink oh, back in. No, no, the double edge no, no, kills himself. No. Illidan, Arthur still doomed the shackle on the NS. The tower gets killed. They don't even get to deny. Sadoi picks up the triple. Good god, how quickly that got out of hand. Look, Yo was under that T1 for days. You have Sadoi that was just running by a smile that TP'd in and didn't right click him. The mech was alive the whole time, but he never had the chance to use it. Under attack. I don't know, man. Well, you went for some early game risky move. 
the thing is, they took a fight at a very inopportune time because they didn't have mass circle Radiant's orbs, even with the overgrowth coming out. Fallen. The tower actually dies safe lane, so I guess it wasn't a total disaster for VP, but it was pretty damn bad because that Windrunner just got three kills. You basically only killed Ancient Apparition and you focused on the Wraith King first, which is another thing that was really Dyer's interesting to me because I think G was right up there. You know, he I think G was assuming that after his imprisonment, he wouldn't have enough mana to reincarnate. Maybe that's why he just tried to kill him straight away. But then as soon as he started respawning, it's like, okay, well, we've used our growth already. Our Sanity's Eclipse does some damage, but it's not oh, enough to really become that huge of a threat unless you've banished like four people, which he hadn't. So I don't know. It was a, a really interesting. Yeah. Did they have Wrath of Nature? Or like, I actually, the, I actually don't know. I think they did. Aside from the Mass Serpent Ward, it felt like they just were so close in getting like three kills. That's yeah, for sure. Top tower we wouldn't see, be singing their praises. You meant Nature's Prophet Gank? No, Nature's Guy. His gank. Not gonna find anybody. It's actually leveling up Nature's Guy. It's interesting. We get that BC, man. Just get it for the slow. Attack. Well, you want two points into the Nature's Guys because it goes up by 15 seconds a rank, which is really nice. Yeah, and you don't really need more than 30 seconds. So. It's the same reason why people always skilled Shadow Walk two times on Bounty Hunter. 15 seconds and this is just like ass. It's not really that good. And you don't have the mana pool to spam it that liberally, so you have to uh, put another point in. Oh, smile, he is uh, going back for a Staff of Wizardry. I just hope this ain't a four Staff because if you're going back in four Staff on an Nature's Prophet, can be nobody, man. I think book kind of fits more with the style that they're trying to do right now. Against the Doom, though. That free eating. Well, the, um, yeah, I guess the Doom could eat it. Going to Roshan, so. Finally, this is the first time they're gonna. Oh, I say that, though. The Ice Blast is gonna come in. Oh, God. I don't know, man. Panic! Drake? Okay, it's gonna miss. Oh, wait, what? It was outside of the pit. Okay, of course, the Power Shot's gonna miss as well. Alright, they live through the, the burst, man. Shackle? Okay, so then comes in. No stun. And here comes Solo, man. This is some scary stuff. And S is gonna get a shackle off. Yes, he back and will. But where's the damage? Where's the overgrowth? Jonathan's gonna pick one up. No! He gets killed before he hit it! Meanwhile, the, in the back line here, G, he's looking for the Aegis! Okay, so G picks it up. He's gonna have to use it right now. That Mass Serpent Ward's still in there, but he's kinda stuck. He has four staff though. Get himself out of there. It's gonna initiate right back at the door to get one kill. The Ice Blast's gonna come in and Illidan still some alive somehow, and G's gonna fight. He gets one big hit off against Gold Black. Meanwhile, looks like uh, the King is dead. And they're for more. Go for more. All right. The TP's gonna come in from our, uh, Smile. Smile looking for Gold Black. They're all going for different targets. Can they get the double? They're looking so greedy here. Gold Black. He's gonna get one hit. He's gonna get killed. Meanwhile, Invoker has died also in the background here. Bird is pro. That's huge. That is so huge. I mean, just recovering from that mid game fight, right? Like they got the Aegis and they got the Roshan kill. Which yeah, is nice. Because instead of like getting, oh, dude, are they gonna get solo? No, no, no way. But the Prophet has TP. Yeah, but Solo is like... So he's 1600 health and he's right next to a tier Just 1. Just right click him! He has no armor! Just click him, man! Okay, it's fine! 12 armor. Okay, he actually has, yeah, a lot of armor. He's very tanky. Look, o OD does not care about armor. But they don't need to go for that kill anyway, because they just got Roshan, they just killed pretty much everyone on the side of Rock's Kiss. If the Power Shot had landed during the beginning of the engagement, or a Sunstrike landed, I think the fight would have went way differently. I agree, I absolutely agree with that. Because I think Arsar actually would have almost just died to that, and then there was another hero who was standing right next to him. I think it was NS, actually, who was quite low. They actually committed the Mass Servant Wards to killing Roshan, but they faded before Roshan died. No, 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 they didn't fade. Yeah, 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 yeah. so there was a lot of them that were dead, basically. There's like three left, or two left, I think, at the end of the fight. So I don't know. It was uh, not ideal if you're Rock's Kiss. Not to say that they're totally out of it, but man, that is, uh, that is a heavy blow. I mean, they're definitely in it. I, I st very much so because, like you said earlier, they, they could lay game just fine. Radiant's Ice Blast coming up top. Massive Warwick's gonna get dropped. Glyph's gonna get used. By the way, Enna just got an S. Or not, he got a, um, S and Sora off of that. So he didn't lose any mana. What a player. Alright. One tower. Priest. I need to get the nine, man. Yeah, I probably will. No, no, it's not low enough. 39 HP away. BKB on Gino. This is looking a little bit scary for Roxkiss because of the fact that, like, our start, okay, he's got mech, he's got book. There's BKB and G, blink on Illidan. They have everything that they need.
They can't take a T1, or they refuse to take a T1. Well, they didn't commit to it, that's the thing. Like, if they had committed to the fight, I think they would have very easily won the fight. And they actually might go back here solo. They see him coming in on the right side, Illidan. He's in Viz, he's gonna go for solo. They gotta chain hex him down. Yup, he's dead. BKB can use to get the force that back out. She's damaged though. It's insane. The overgrowth is gonna come in, and here comes the chilling touch, but her running away with that chilling touch. Yo's gonna get shackled. Meanwhile, on the back line here, BZZ drops a deep. Arzar's gonna actually use the mech for himself, but they actually get to kill Blink for back from Illidan. Now, guy going for BZZ, and look at G, all of this. Meanwhile, just like artillery cannon, dropping Radiance in the big deeps. Four man kill, just for smile, they're gonna get a tier Radiance one. Top he just kills an assist for the spirits, what a player. What a player. I'm gonna say Illidan didn't play well in that fight. Dating. First time for everything. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. He also, for the first time, got the correct skill build. You know, there's, there's yeah. that too. Sure. Another really good fight for VP though. Like, continually taking fights where you just get more and more ahead. Eventually, even if Rock's Kiss do have better late games, something's gotta give, right? You can't just keep losing fights yeah. over and over and over again. I mean, so, should we go back and ask the question in the other way? Like, is, is Rock's Kiss taking these fights despite the fact that they do, they really should not? Because Virtus Pro has, like you talked about, BKB on OD, got the double early four slap, got the mech. Well, they're mega books. I think they're just valuing having the map control to like so much to a point where they want to fight, even if they think they're at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Just because losing the tier one mid would be really bad for them. Oh, you would never you. be able to contest Roshan, basically. So they need to fight for all their towers. Even the offlane still matters a little bit, and I think maybe they were feeling a little confident because even though the fight at Roshan didn't go spectacularly, they kind of miscoordinated a lot of their abilities. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they were just thinking, okay, if we just attack. play it better, we can actually win the fight. Well, they're which... not fighting for the tier one now, because I guess yeah. they lost again. Honestly, I think Radiance the tier one bot and the tier one top attack. is the one that you can give away. Yeah. Yeah. Don't really have to Radiance middle through. tower But mid, though, you have to fight for that. So... Even your safe lane dying is really bad. It yeah, just opens up so much room in the Radiance woods. The safe lane died when they were attack. going for the Roshan engagement, and the creeps took it down, but... Well, maybe they're in trouble. Well... Like and OP. Okay, he just Fine. double TP. Fine, look at him. Fine. Oh, he even pops the book just to give him more gold before he dies. I think I gotta burn all Yul's mana. It's pretty annoying. I mean, it's not really fine. He's just walking off, man. Alright. She's up to 3,000 gold. X. It wouldn't be against for Shivas either, but it's probably nah, gonna be definitely Hex. Definitely Hex. Yeah. Like, Hex in this game is so good. You Hex solo, you Hex the Invoker even, just boom, free kill. Yeah. And with the Force Staff, essentially, it's like an initiation. In fact, they're initiating mid, I think. Hello? There's a going to get initiated on. He did. Shackle? Yep, he did. A cold wind blows. But he did. Man, this is insane. Oh, no. VP are looking really good at this yeah. game. He's got a pipe finish on Illidan, man. Look at these early game snowballing items. They didn't smoke up. They see Goldblack. And Goldblack is dead, right? I go for Rave Actually, killing Rave King. It'll work a little bit more. Yeah, he's got his reincarnation, but it's not gonna matter. Okay. Go just roll for here, too. Lots of kids are like falling apart, man. They're just getting kicked all over the place. The chokes, man. Remember Goldblack at TI, TI3? Choke kiss, man. That doesn't sound as good as Cho 9, but whatever. We'll go back to the drawing table for that one. <laughs> back to the old whiteboard. But, gotta say, DP coming back from a game where I would say they played questionably, like individually as a team, and then just playing this game out, going for something that not a lot of teams would have the balls to do in their situation. Like, in the first game, they went for a crazy level 1 Roche as Radiant, yeah. and now they're going for a total all-in. No one has bought a Midas, everyone is buying fighting items, and they're actually fighting. Yeah. Like, that is Dyer's actually crazy to me. Is under attack. Radiance hey man, tower just want to bring attack. you back to the point where Kuroki and you say, Oh, we see the initiation go black here. Can they actually get the kill? Nice uh, Shackle. One done. more hit? Oh, oh they're gonna get it. Dyer's another kill, that's another tower. Is what did Kuroki and I say? Profit. Three, three games in a row, shit didn't work, man. Radiance but they change it up, right? They change it up the way they played it. Yeah. It's not the same thing again. It's not the farm for the late game. It's going hard right now. And guess what? Mass Serpent Ward's up. Oh, man. Pardon man. Whoa, he's dead. He doesn't have reincarns. Oh, my. Mass Serpent Ward gets dropped. I like the fact that I need to drop on the rain side. Got Black DC'd. Yo, man. I don't know.
Rock's kiss on the verge of uh, losing Iraqs. What do you do, man? That wasn't a rage quit, was it? No, you don't rage quit from TI3. <laughs> you don't rage quit TI qualifiers, right? No. Okay. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, his teammate did pause like instantly. God, this looks so bad for Rock's kiss right now. How many times in a row did they just get picked off, man? That was like, what, four times? So Doyle picked off Milena's Wind Ranger. Brave King back picked off in the jungle. And then Gold Black got picked off defending a tier two. And then the Wraith King then, got picked off again. Right. So that's four picks back to back. In a row. Yeah. Against a, a moving train that's going to come at you. And you know it's coming at you. Oh, it God. even made a choo-choo sound. Rock's Kiss actually not going to be at TI. Well, they're not out of the game just yet. Dude, this is looking so bad, I though. Mean, can they come back and uh, Rax down? I think so. Yeah, but it would be extremely hard, man. You're against the Prophet team. Look, last game, Rox was throwing their lead, and Virtus Pro almost came back. I, I'm, it's not out of Virtus Pro to throw their lead and have Rox, Cups, uh, Rox Kiss come back. Dude, if you had asked me, like, three hours ago before I casted this series, I would have said the series would probably be over in, like, an hour max. And 2 Rox Kiss. And 2 Rox Kiss. But VP, man, holy... They came, they came prepared. All right, are we going to go jump more on the hype wagon and say 3-1 VP against Mouse? If they take the no, 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 no. You no. see, you wouldn't have said that. No, 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 no. I don't know, dude. I don't know. You love love my whole world has <laughs> been turned upside down, okay? I don't know what to think anymore. What is my reality? What is, man? I am confusion. That's basically where I'm at right now. I need Bruno down here to console me. Reality is an illusion, man. You know who say that? That's Who's fucking enigma. Enigma? Reality is an illusion. All right, well, my reality is illusion at the very least. It's Just waiting on Goblack to reconnect. In terms of what Rock's Kiss can do, I mean, they got like Meatball Deafening Blast for some wave clear. They still have a Glyph up, and they have Power Shot spam. They even have an Orchid on Sedoi. So they can definitely fight. It's just BP have a significant advantage because they've already been allowed to go high ground due to the fact that there have been so many picks. And because of that, the Mad Serpent Wards are down. Yep. Which means that suddenly, a lot harder to fight into. You have to clear them out. And if you just like blink in or run at them to force them away from the wards, you just get the tower for free. There's a lot of heroes that you have to decide between, okay, do I want to kill the tower or do I want to kill them? When you have a Shadow Shaman, you just put the wards in the tower and you make them back up. There's also the issue. Uh, Necrobook has been used, but I don't see them on the map. Pull down, yeah. So it's it's gone for a while. BZZ don't have Invoke for seven more seconds, so yeah, he could have Meteor, but you know he won't have it for seven seconds, and that's more than enough time for Virtus Pro to do whatever they need to do. Oh, he's dead, man. Rip. Well, actually, they have Glyph. I... They have Glyph. I just said that. Yeah, you did. See, the thing is, I could have said that I didn't say that afterwards, yeah. but you would not know. Yeah. And then VOD will be like, or the people watching VOD, which, by the way, shout out to you guys. Got a sneeze. <laughs> shout out to Lumi. Litter oh, you actually muted it this time. Holy uh, that was cow. some clutch mute. Are you sure you didn't actually mute me instead of you? No, you one or two. Well, I don't know. I guess that would be two, right? Yeah. Logically, that would make sense. The trans would... What if you just next level this? Yeah. I don't know, man. Hard to say. What if? What? Yeah, you got the mute off again, dude. You're yeah, good. I did. I'm, I'm such the a double pro sneeze, now. but it's a double mute. I wanted to just say, have you ever heard of the term icing the kicker? Icing the kicker, no. It's a football term. Okay. Basically, what it means is, you score like a goal, right, in football, and okay. you take field goal, like you're gonna the go kick. for the extra point, right? You yep. take a field goal, and you just call a timeout. Basically, if you're the other team. Oh, it's just like throw. Yeah, it's like you do it to make sure that he's going to like get nervous about it. I think that's kind of what's going to happen to wait, Rock's wait. Kiss. The, the person that's losing, right? Well, if you're going to kick a field goal and you're going to win because of it, then you want eyes the kicker. Yeah. Right? So that's what you do. Okay. But yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, <laughs> it's hard to be nervous when you have Master Brim more down. And you're like, no, hey, I'm man. saying it's nerve being nervous for Rocks. Kiss. Okay, that I like agree they're like, you. holy yeah. shit, we're actually we might lose. Yeah, and you they know, were the uh, you the know heavy favorites. Holy shit, man! That's why you never count nobody out in the best of three. Anything could happen. 
Did it just call me HC? I just made a sports reference, man. <laughs> Shit just got real. Hubby apparently predicted this yesterday in our best of three cast. Did he? Yeah. The VP were gonna win. Oh, he says that a lot of these Russian teams they take a win or a loss at best of three like very emotionally. Yeah. And yesterday when Virtus Pro won against Team Coast and Rock's Kiss lost against Mouse, even though Virtus Pro is. So you're saying like the the moral level of each. The momentum. Team is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't just morale, final say VP's gonna two one this, but yeah, mor said, morale wise they were not doing well. Yeah, and that that game one man. Rage crit. Just being called. Keep out in mind, the, our stream is very delayed, so they're probably seeing stuff that's. Yeah, five minutes ago. Yeah. Apparently, God Black has some internet issues, man. God, that would suck so bad. I mean, he's playing AA. Like honestly, you can micro that. That's true. At least from a base defense perspective, you just sit in the well and you use Ice Blast. Drop a chilling touch, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. Series. Whew. And unfortunately, they're speaking Russian, so we don't really know what's going on. can translate. I'm guessing his internet provider. Yeah, that's the only English word provider. Yeah. It is like, it's bad. Something's bad. Five minute pause. Well, they have three five minute pauses, right? Can you just say one 15 minute pause? Is that yeah, but you have to actually expend the pauses per five minutes. So if you have a 15 minute pause, then they have to unpause and continue playing. I believe that's how it goes. Okay. So. Well, we might stay here for 15 minutes. I, I mean, I'm not going to make him unpause. Fuck that. You were just about to tell them he has no TB. Go for it in game two. <laughs> yeah, man. I wanted to see him win, man. I wanted to see him go ham. Well, I was I was riding your excitement. Okay, you okay. can't even you can't even put that on me, man. That was that, don't that's you sorry. fucking put that voodoo on me, Ricky okay. Bobby. So get out I, of here, I don't even get it. <laughs> yeah, I know it doesn't matter. The chat will get it. It's fine. Okay. You just went Tradingo over me. I didn't even. I went over my head. I'm not even talking to you anymore. I'm just yeah. talking to the chat. It's okay. It's fine. I don't listen to you anyways. Yeah. Fair enough. Reality is a confusion. Can you imagine how good it would be if we cast a TI together and we just went off into a tangent in the middle of a game about how we don't <laughs> listen to each other? I'm gonna happen. That's gonna happen. We're just okay. gonna be like in the middle of like winter bracket finals and we're like just it. gonna be like, did you not just listen to what I said? <laughs> the whole stadium is just gonna go like quiet. Probably not so good to do that. Ah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Walk it off. God, man. The amount of stress that the, both teams have to be experiencing right now. Invertus Pro has no stress. They're just like, oh, yeah, Master of Awards down, Shackle, but it doesn't matter. They got no way to push us out of the base. Scale of 1 to 10, stress level are like 2.5. 2.5? Yeah. Is that Lumi confirmed stress level? Yeah. Okay. I'm I mean, saying it's at least a 4. NS is pretty stressed. He got the tower hitting on him. He's like a half HP. Yeah, but he's got a ghost up there. That's true. His stress is actually at like a 2.5. But yeah. the rest of the team, I'm thinking like 4. Well, actually, there is a 2 man Shackle down already. Yeah, I j Did you just say that too? I really sneeze. did actually just say that too. Okay, we just said many you things. You are so ass. You said this. many things, right? Like, did you say that pipe is not pop yet? And no, they could I pop didn't it? I say that. Okay, good. Good. The pipe's not pop yet, so they could go. Whatever, man. Over it. You never buy me nice things anymore. <laughs> I never buy you any nice things. <laughs> <laughs> you never <laughs> take me out to dinner. You never listen to me. Check out Reddit. Be that carry that <laughs> I am. A drama fiend. Everyone in the house is actually. I think except for me. Every time I go into anyone's room, they're always reading Reddit. They're like, oh, did you see this new drama? I'm like, what? Who cares? I read Reddit for the pics, man. Pictures. There you do. The, the only drama I saw is copy paste Serena on, on this lounge chat. What an instigator. Holy, I need, really need to sneeze, but I, a, it's like coming out. You're a bacon thief, man. I totally did that on purpose in front of the camera. Doesn't matter. It doesn't make you any less of a bacon thief. Yeah, I'm just... I'm meant to be on TV, man. Never. So I wonder how much time uh, Rock's Kiss actually have left in their pause, because I think it's been about five, six minutes. It's definitely been five minutes, because I've been reading through the chat of things we said five minutes ago. 
I don't know, man. What are, what are the chats saying? The power. The suka power. Yeah, suka. They did a blood seeker, really. That's the problem. Oh, oh he reconnected. Here we go. We are back, Game boys. Game on, boys. All right, no more sneezes, please. You gotta Keep hold it, it in, together. Man. Yep. We only got a little bit more to go, man. Or a lot more to go. I'm ready for that too. I'm ready. Oh, I get it, cause they have G on their team. Uh, fine. Everything's fine. Did G get shackled to get? No, it's a uh, profit. I got shackled. Shot him and. Where, where did, what else? G. Oh, oh here, we here. here we go. Here we go. Alright. Down, right. right, man. Echolens. There's only the map. The one that Draskal said fortified. they had. I did say they had it. And that thing was thing. so bad. I hit the Necrobooks. Yeah, but that's Dyer's still that's like a really bad thing. Nice block. Just tank it. But there goes the tower, man. But the Warthor down. Radiant's bottom tower Actually, has fallen. They're going to get pushed out. Let's casually eat a Necrobook. No big deal. He has his BKB too. Hey, man, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, no they're pressure. still like... Oh, we're gonna find out how soon Roshan's gonna be up here in a second. Minute. Okay. You swarm me back One up top. Minute, though. Holy shit, I'm gonna sneeze again. Illusion. Maybe. What? I can't tell you who's winning. No spoilerinos. <laughs> what, like before it happens? Did you not mute that time? I this guy's like allergic to casting or something. Pass, pass me the paper towel, priest. God, dude, you are un unbelievable. I'm trying to cast TI qualifiers, and this guy can't hold in a sneeze. Amateur hour over here at the EU hub, but still maintaining a pretty significant advantage is VP. Lumi's going to continue to sneeze until hopefully his eyes actually fall out. You know what this is anymore, man? I will come and see you and tell you this way. Anyway, she's actually opted to go for Lincoln's, which is probably one of the safest choices you can actually make. I really thought he was going to go for a Hex just for the picking power, but he just says, nope, I want to play it a bit safer. Don't want to get doomed. With my BKB activated, there is actually nothing that Rock's Kiss can do to the OD build, which in a way is pretty solid, I think. And the rest of Rock's Kiss have just said, we are terrified. We don't want to fight right now. We don't have Glyph. If we lose a fight, it could very easily just somersault into us losing the game. And in the meantime, Roshan's up now, so if VP want to do that, we can definitely do it. Me, are you yeah. You're done polluting our studio? Hey, Andy! Odie's going for Lincoln's. What do you think about that? He's just trolling me, man. <laughs> he's, just, he's just trolling me now. He knows that I said I'm not even doing it good enough. I should have just, like, slap face that one. And don't yeah, you me. really should have. A deadpan, we, you would have nailed it. Holy shit. I probably I would have lost it and just, like, got up and left. All right, hold on. Hold on. Rock's kiss. Maybe they'll lose it. Maybe they'll win it. It's the same fight they had, like, 15 minutes ago. Where's the AI splash? It's coming in hot. Okay, it's not hitting anything. Solo comes in, though. Where's the agent? It gets picked up by on the back. It's going to get boarded on the roof. It's a four-man sanity. They do pick up NSO, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think, because the damage output from G is just way too much. Solo, he's getting driven off. I don't think he's going to die, though. On the back line, are they going to clean up the Necro books yet? It's only two to one, but the Aegis goes on to OD. And I think with the Aegis, you could just go back on the bot and just take that Rax. Oh man, this is looking like the beginning of the end, maybe for Rock's Kiss. Had a good run though, man. Had a good run. G with Aegis now? That's like, how do you stop that push? And if he doesn't go Hex next item, it would be very surprising. Maybe Jesus. But I still feel like a Hex is a really good item for just being able to definitively say that this hero is going to die no matter what, because you saw right there, Rock's Kiss still had like two or three heroes who were able to just flat out run away because it's pretty good against what VP have. After the overgrowth, the only other disable you have is basically bring some right down. But the is going to stay through it. Get gold black. Once again, no one is initiating a counter. What's happening again? Not sure whether that was intended or not, but that's two kills. G is got like though. Sorry, one kill, because uh, Jotam not dead. And it looks like they want to chase down for more Shackle shot. Ooh, Link gets blocking that, because that looks like he'll share the Shackle. And he comes back in, he wants to fight. Overgrowth's going to come through. They're going to focus on Sidoi. Sidoi actually win running, though. So she's fine. And now G in the center of everything, not exactly where he wants to be. He gets stunned. He's not getting focused. He's still living armor. Gets canceled out. Another Shackle, please. He just get his Aegis. And he's going to get loses Aegis. Nicely done. It's time for Rock to back off. 
Oh, Ward's dropped, though. They want to continue fighting this. Sadoi. The shackle range is huge. Okay, the tornado wasn't Radiant's long enough. Only one point in Wex. Sadoi's going to be going down. Please. Arzart looking for the chase. Wants to go for Yul. It's going to be a Hellfire Blast. Went for the Sprout. Unfortunately, the animation is just a little bit too long. Can't get it off. Radiant's top tower Kido, is they under lose attack. their Aegis. They say, you know what? No reason to push it. Used our wards. I think Rapskis is holding this, though. Like, well, I mean, they're... Uh, VP aren't gonna push that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing. And, and they're fine, I think. Now, but they have to continually lose things to keep their base alive, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're losing heroes every single time. These Treants are now able to walk into the base and be annoying on the rain track. Like, sure, sure, all of this is true, but it's, it's not like they have to buy back to the friend. So even though they're losing a little bit, like they're just getting like paper cuts. It's it's not a it's not a mortal wound. Dude, you know the death by a thousand cuts. Hey, but it's if you get nine 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 cuts, it's not a thousand yet, man. Like it's fine. All right, all right. You're the math guy. I believe you. Yep, nine nine nine, not a thousand. Confirmed. Confirmed. The solo is not divine. All right, all right. He is good. I think the biggest problem though is that Solo right now, he's got a pretty long BKB, which is the only reason he's able to walk into these team fights. The longer the game goes, the shorter BKB you're gonna have, and then Solo's just gonna start getting focused. And if the Hex is finished on G, and they Hex Solo and kill him, your team fight is over. Yeah. Without that hero, like, standing in, being very annoying to the supports, getting a Shiva's maybe, and dealing a decent amount of damage and being able to chase, with him gone, you don't have anyone to stand in the fight anymore because all they have to do is just sprout Yul and he can just sit there and do nothing. So Yeah, and it's not like Rock Kiss has any other like high priority target that needs to be hexed. I was thinking maybe if Yul gets a blink dagger and just go in and just tank the hex, I think OD's just like, yeah, you could blink in. I have a link in to block your stun, I'm fine. But do you think maybe it's time for Solo to, after he finishes the next item, to move on to a blink? and just go in and do as much as he can before he eventually would get Hex and die? Or do you think he has to kind of play tanky, stay back, and just roll with the punches? There's definitely benefits to going blink, but tankiness against an OD doesn't really feel like the right choice most of the time. The only reason he'll ever be tanky is because of magic immunity. That's the thing. Because no magic resistance will help you against OD's orb, Right. but as long as you're, you're golden, you're fine. But top lane, gonna be a fight. It's gonna be NS. Well, he actually is popping that BKB. Open roll. Where is it? Where is it? Looking for it. It's only actually gonna get solo. Solo's gonna die as a result, though. And again, that's a yet another BKB. He trial. also doomed into Lincoln's. Oh, yeah. Wasn't great. Well, thankfully they have a T2. They have the glyph back up, but uh, they will lose that tier two and perhaps a glyph as well. See how long no, they won't glyph a tier two. No way. It's too dangerous. Radiance top tower is under what, attack. Tier two, what? No, they won't glyph a tier two. Oh, yeah, they don't. I mean, I, I think what happened was VP will push high ground, and they have to glyph over the tier three now. Now that's exactly what's going to be happening. There's, oh, there's the a buyback. Okay, just get out. Damn it. So that's that's not a thousand cut. That's like a cut and then stab in your stomach. Cause do buying back. Like so we're, we're we're moving from cuts to disemboweling now. No, no, I think losing kills is okay, but uh, when you have to buy, when you're starting to buy back to defend your base, that's when you're really not coming back. Okay. Also consider the fact that there are now two hexes on the side of VP. Got one, you know. I mean, uh, BZZ has a hex, but I don't really think it has the same implications as VP having two hexes, especially considering their damage output. Man, I worry. Don't worry. It's only going to be about a few more minutes until Roshan's going to be up. I think it's probably going to be anywhere from like four to six minutes, I guess. But when that happens, Rock's Kiss are going to have to be forced into the same situation they were before, which is go to Roshan, fight Roshan. If you lose, it's another stab. It's not a cut, it's a stab. Maybe even like a slice, a grievous a slice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, well, what, what, what can Short they do in the next, like... You couple minutes before Roshan comes back alive. Farm? That's, well, that's all they can do. Gank? That's the thing. I think you could go for a gank, right? It's so risky. It's so, so risky. It could be one of those high risk, high reward things where you manage to like pick one or two people from VP and then oh, you secure rush because of it. That will actually bring them back in the game, for sure. Right, the thing is they have to go for that play or they lose the game, right? Because if you try to walk into the Roshan pit against double hexes and master rewards, you lose. I'm saying it's it's a very very risky thing to do. Yeah, so you just but you do actually it's triple hexes. Let's not forget about NS. So yeah, but I mean, mean like hex yeah. is an item. Yeah.
because sure, blink forward, hex, it's always going to be there on the Shadow Shaman, but having the OD get a hex has much, much bigger implications because of the damage output that he's going to have. It's not just about getting higher intelligence, it's about getting the bigger mana pool for dem orbs, man. You're going to hit so hard now. Seems like Roxas is just afraid to try anything, because they're just... I would be afraid too, man. Man, dude, nothing to lose mentality. There's a lot to lose. When everything's on the line. There is a lot to lose. Look, man, they're not winning this game. If you sit back and do nothing, they, they have lost this game. I Real don't, talk. I, I don't disagree with that. You're right. Are you going to smoke under this Observer Ward? Please. Oh, God. Please. Out no, there. they're going to move into the other Observer Ward and smoke. <laughs> that is so sad. Actually going to smoke. Oh, my God. Life, how do they not have any de-warding? Oh. Uh, okay, so you My just, heart hurts right now for them. You just back off if you're VP. I don't even think VP care if they smoke, if they're just sitting as five. Like the worst thing that can happen is they manage the NS before he wards or something. Maybe they throw out a Doom onto the OD before he BKBs. Those are probably the two best things that they could do. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, the link in BKB is real, because OD. I mean, he's gone for full P9. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be exceptionally difficult to kill G. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Hey man, what a game. I like the fact that Rock's Kiss are at least doing something, you know? Like you mentioned it. You don't want to just sit in your base and do nothing and just slowly get asphyxiated by a gigantic golden experience lead that BP currently hold over them. And taking a proactive role here. They're pushing in mid. Just getting the lanes out of their side of the map is going to be kind of nice for them because it, it lets them actually move around a bit. Think about getting a better position on the map, but the thing is, eventually Roshan's going to spawn. And actually, he had the shortest possible spawn timer. Yep. He just spawned. So VP, whenever they want to, they can just send a casual tree down there and they can see that it's up. There's actually no vision around Roshan right now for the side of Rocks because they can only see inside of the woods more or less. VP. I think the hourglass Dyer's is uh, beginning to is run dry to Rock's Kiss. They're the Claire favorites, man. Best of three. The last few grains of sand are reaching the bottom of the bottle, man. You think flip the hourglass if they, they win a fight and get a kickoff. That's what they have to do. Let me check if they even have smokes left. Stop real fast. Nope. Smokes. No smokerinos. Do they have any? Nope. Do they have any courier? No. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 37 minutes in, this Wraith King doesn't even have a blink. That's so sad for him. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, if they get his T1. Nope. Glyph is going to come out. Tree's healing it back up. Time to back off. They can't fight under this. It would have been so... Oh, God. I was going to say, they might have overstayed their welcome a little bit, but... A tower that doesn't actually just die right away is not a tower that's going to die. Yeah, it's going to get healed up. Of course, Prophet is, you know, getting more out of this map. For a pick, man. All right, I like that. Just hope for something. Radiant structures are fortified. There's no tree in scouting the Roshan pit yet. Yeah, Roshan's been up this whole time. Yeah. But the thing is, all VP have to do is walk over there. And we'll just be like, oh. Roshan. And I'm uh -oh. pretty sure that's cheese. The initiation is going to come in. And with it all, Sam is going to come out. They can focus on something. He came and popped that BKB over the on the back line, BCC dead as well. And now Sadoi, well, he's actually high healing all his way back thanks to the aura, but he gets also hexed. And now the fight is going another way. Sadoi, no, still going for He's going for John up the no, but on the back line, everybody's dead. Team White. I gotta say, I think that's it. That's it. You don't even go for Roche now. You just go down the bot lane. You TP top. You kill the top. Exactly there are actually three buybacks right now, so here they come. All buybacks. But those are gonna cut, right? Get the hell out of there. They hex him. Nice. Deathwing blast. He's so dead. Right. Smile's got buyback, right? He'll Ooh. just spend it. Uh -huh. That's a buyback. That's the thing. Alright. It's like, VP are actually just gonna go kill Roche instead, which I like. I mean, this is the safest of plays. You just had three people buyback to kill one hero. Three. And you're gonna lose Roche. Yep. The goal discrepancy is even bigger than what the chart shows. 
because every single buyback right now costs over a thousand gold for the course. Nice block. Last strike. Okay. No, Sean has so fallen into the dial. Yeah. Okay. And rough. I mean, Rocks just have to take a very convincing fight, like right now. They I mean, there's no win. reason to take this fight anymore. Kind of back off. Oh, oh no. they're gonna go in. Oh no. Double edge, overgrowth on G3. Solo is getting three focus again. He has the BKB on, but with the Doom, he gets hexed after that BKB X. Solo's dead. Dead. He got hexed twice in a row. Like, he got hexed, and then he got hexed again because Arsar fought back and hexed him. So, uh, that's, that's no buybacks. No buyback arenas. Yep, and now they're gonna swing bot. The wave is being pushed. Sadori is. Okay. Sadori is. GG well played. GG. Congratulations to DT, man. The team that nobody thought were gonna make it through this is a three man. They, and not only did they make it through, but they made it through by doing something. Finally. Like, nine viewers would have prized for witnessing this glory. That's how many people bet on BP. Nine. Yes. That's five of them were VP. One of them was me. You know, fuck 322, man. Nine is the new number. <laughs> is it? The new glorious prizes for betting on VP. I'm really impressed that they were able to take a straight up.